you know, if you look at any job in the world or someone doing any job, if there was to be a worldwide competition of that job and they were to be able to objectively measure someone's performance at that job, would you be the best in the world? Are you ready? Stand by. We'll see, it's gonna be close. Training's no joke. It's intense. It has got to deliver the performances that I know I will need for nationals, but it's also really splendid to be back in the struggle of it. Bye, restarting. I don't wanna reward my dad. To be carving my skills and sharpening them. Hard ass stage at the end of the day. Woo! It's not easy, but it will be freaking worth it. Why is winning nationals such a big deal this year? Because I was second by a third of a point last year. I was visualizing everything correctly, um, but then when it came to the execution, I was just a little bit off, just stage after stage after stage. So, got to figure out what's going on with that. Second overall, Daniel Warner. After 1,200 points available, I was three-tenths of a point in second place and uh, didn't feel like it was where I should have been. I should have won, and uh, this year I'm coming back to win, hopefully by a lot. It has to be perfect. The difference in being a plinker and being a competitor is that I have to deliver a result on command. I gotta show up and be the best I could possibly be right now. So the grit of it is coming out here and not doing one drill one time, but coming out here and spending six hours through the middle of this South Carolina summer day uh, perfecting it. This is the first year that they've offered Modified at Multigun Nationals, and I'm going there the first year to win this match in Modified because I believe that it makes sense, and I think that it's the, the future largest, most competitive division for sure, because we've got red dots on pistols, we've got bipods on rifles, and I think when TAC Optics was made, it was kind of made for the most common practical equipment available during the day. Well, now technology has moved forward, and the division has moved forward. So I see Modified taking over and 90% of the competitors moving to that. I've been winning in TAC Optics for 20 years. I plan to win in Modified for the next 20 years. Morning one of Nationals, we're walking our first stage. No shots have been fired yet. You can't falter. You have to be steady throughout this because if you have a low dip, there's nowhere to make it up. So perform, perform well, and don't stumble because there's gonna be people waiting in the shadows to get you. The USPSA Multi-Gun Nationals is the championship 
of the year. This is where the best of the best come to be challenged over 12 courses of fire and three days of competing. Rifle, up close and long, an assortment of odd shooting positions. We have pistol and shotgun from aerials to static. There is not a skill here that you can get away with not having. There's not a single competitor on this range that doesn't know who Daniel Horner is and more importantly, doesn't fear him on the leaderboard. Complicated stage, man. Super complicated. Hard shots. You killed it, yeah? Yeah. Did good on that one. Did real good. Lena's been crushing it today. She's shot insanely well. I don't think she's had one real problem all day. Just been cruising through the stages, making really difficult shots, hitting some insanely tight uh, no shoots on the move, like she's just shooting extremely well today. This is the first year that I'm going after this national title, not because it is my job, but because it's for me. It's a huge part of my life and I'm so hungry for it. Like I've missed the hunger, the need to show up and be just like the best I can freaking be at something. And that's shooting. Oh man, just looking down at this range. Range is clear. Time, one, four, five, seven. Yeah, that's what I wanted to be. With modified and with the optics and with more equipment, he's pushing real hard. There's been quite a few bobbles today. He's laid down some awesome ones, but he's had some bobbles. It's very important not to make any mistakes, and I'm, I'm making some on every stage. Daniel just shoots Daniel's game. He's freaking untouchable. Like, I can feel his hunger. You know, when I look back, on everything after winning that match, the, the, the thought is gonna be that it, it was worth it. The sacrifice was worth it. Clean. I think, uh, think it was enough. We'll find out shortly. When I think about today, all that comes back in my memory was just being comfortable. I love shotgun. I love shotgun so much, just in case I forgot how much I love shotgun. I came across a lot of targets that had extremely high penalties, but I felt just comfortable because we had trained for it. We had prepared for the test. Hi, lady, Miss Lena Micklick. I take my photos and I see my dad there and I see my friends there and I have it. I'll know that I have it because I am enough right then as I am. I earned this.
all of the training and everything paid off, uh, came down to the last stage, was able to pull it off. Huge thanks to everybody uh, and all the great equipment. It's been, a, it's been a, a ride for the last three or four weeks, but totally paid off in the end, super pumped. You don't make any better friends, acquaintances, or memories than doing hard shit together. Multi-gun is fun, it's challenging in so many different ways, and the people that you find yourself surrounded by are just the best. And I'm thankful that they are who make up my shooting family.